You're still watching Ways. Now, today is National Common Cutsy Day, a day to focus on showing cutsy and consideration to others. Um, it's about everyday small things that adds up to make the world a better place. Now, showing common cutsy speaks volumes about a person's character, um, takes only a small amount of effort, sets an example for others, and make one feel good about themselves. So, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you look great. Yeah. These are like just simple things we should practice every And it day. makes a really world of difference. I have a friend, Noma Ifanga. She always teaches um, ABC of social polish. Mm -hmm. And part of her biggest words that she always says all the time is consideration. Now, imagine if we're actually considerate about a lot of things. You understand? The you're not thinking about yourself alone. You think when you're driving on the road, you're considerate about the next person. When you are, I mean, just name anything that consideration would actually make better. Everything. But you know, the sad thing is, in a place like Lagos, when you're being considerate, it's like you're your living room. For yeah, it's like just, a mumu. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's I, the word. I, was just, I was waiting for you to finish because I just thought to myself, <laughs> common courtesy is not so common around here. Yeah. Right. So people just, even in in the way we speak, where we lack a lot of tact. People just, like there are lots of examples I can give, but I won't, but that, I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah. Uti, Yeah. Can you please Shame. tell us what you found in the news today? <laughs> okay, so, um, I mean, the whole world, we are in the midst of unprecedented, we're in unknown territory, literally, Absolutely, for everyone. Yeah. Um, and we're all watching this play out. Uh, the federal government and the federal ministry of health has today announced that we have 10 new cases of the coronavirus that oh have dear. been, um, that have tested positive uh, in Nigeria today. Three of those cases are in Abuja um, and they're being treated at the uh, University of Abuja Teaching Hospital in Guagualada. And we also have seven cases in Nigeria nine of the 10 cases have just, they've returned to Nigeria within the last week. So from hotspots like Spain, the UK, uh, Canada, France, the Netherlands, and then one person is a contact of one of the previous uh, 12 cases that we had. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's um, I know everybody's, I keep saying every day that it's getting real, it's getting real. Um, it, it's a bit uh, scary uh, when we think about what we've seen in other countries mm -hmm. and how exponential this can go. So we are at the beginning of that bell curve and we want to, in every possible way, you know, stop this from taking on pandemic proportions because we are almost a country of what, 200 million people? Yes. Uh, it would be distressing to know how this could play out if it really started to um, grow at an exponential rate in Nigeria. So, so much needs to be done. I think there's still a lot of reliance, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of reliance on the government thinking, you know, we, we typically haven't had a government that's able to meet all our expectations. I don't know why we think that Corona would be different. Maybe we're, we're dealing on the false uh, assumptions of Ebola, but it's important to note that during Ebola it was an African problem. Mm -hmm. So we had the WHO, we had organizations like the Red Cross, Medicine Sans Frontier, sending their doctors out here to really help. But right now, everywhere, the whole, the whole world, world is world doctors are occupied Absolutely. everywhere. Absolutely, the whole world has mm -hmm. their problems. They're running out of medical staff um, in countries like the UK. So I think globally, we're close to about 267,000 cases now, with um, a total of about 11,184 deaths. So Italy has had about Italy just leading. over 600, and so they've surpassed China, mm -hmm. uh, 607 or so about deaths um, just today. So it's important that. Um, you know, we pay attention. There's so much information out there. We, we have talked to death about washing your hands, about hand sanitizers, but we really now need to start to think ahead because it is here. We're at number 22 and we've seen the way 22, I mean, South Africa went nearly doubled overnight. I think they went from 116 to 202 and then they shut down their airports and they stopped oh, all yeah. flights. Um, so it can very quickly um, spin out of control. It's, we, we, 
we need to start talking about what happens. I mean, the Lagos State Government is doing a lot of work and we must applaud I must commend um, them, yeah. their efforts. I agree. But right now, um, it is, it's beyond the government. And I think that's what every Nigerian needs to understand. It needs to be a concerted effort between um, the Nigerian people mm -hmm. and the Nigerian government. So this is the time where we call on corporate Nigeria. We call on all the various um, religious organizations, the CAN, the Islamic community, to really come together because this disease is no respecter of persons, of faith, of creed. We really need to band together. If we don't, I hate to think um, Worse, what really yeah. could happen. So yeah, we I need don't to even take want it seriously. It. Yeah. And, and really, you know, we, we, we have social media which is a fantastic weapon but we because of the proliferation of social media we now have a lot of content creators mm -hmm. those content creators need to get on you know we need to be creating videos in different languages we yeah. need to be I have pushing been doing things a out a little bit yeah, of you know, I saw your, your, videos, your video yeah. it's yeah. important that we're pushing this out because the more we talk about it i feel like because there's been no death People still believe. I mean, I've spoken to learned people who still think disease. that it's it's fake, mm. Mm. that it's not happening in Nigeria. Someone was telling me, oh, why hadn't they released a picture of the Italian man? I'm like, why do you need proof? Is everything else that is happening in the <laughs> no, world you don't blame Nigerians not enough now. proof? See, Nigerians, we, we are used to, you know, when you have been so um, lied to and so many things have happened, it will take a while for you to start trusting. We, we It's hard for us to trust, you know, the, the Even government. if you don't trust. But at least look at what is happening globally. Well, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And, and even if you don't trust any of it, mm. do you really want to take chances with your life? No. I mean, if Nigerians like nothing else, we, we like love, to live. We love, we love to live. We love the party. So even for that, you mm. know, fact, you would be like, you know what, actually, all these things don't hurt. Don't shake people, don't hug mm. people, don't go. It doesn't hurt really, mm. you know, right? So don't put people at risk. My son was out of school way before schools closed. Just because, okay, no chances. Auntie, okay. You know? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, I frankly, I am not afraid of Corona, but I mean, I try to be careful because of the people around me. Yeah. So just, it, it, it doesn't hurt to socially distance yourself and just, Wash your hands and mm. just help people, especially the elderly ones and the kids, right? And when they say and wash your hands, so what's they your need story? to follow it on to say don't touch your face. Yeah. Don't yeah. touch your face. Okay. <laughs> what's so, your story? Um, yeah. Um, before I move on to my story, I have to commend Nia Kimola. She, he's a, a film director, a director famously known for uh, directing The Wedding Party too. So he created content in different um, I saw that in local Yoruba, dialects. Yes, Igbo, Yoruba, Pigeon, Igbo yeah. and, you know, other... Mm -hmm. um, languages languages yes so um if you really want to get a copy of it send an email to him he's on instagram Nia Kimola, very very good content okay now building on what you had said uti about the federal um uh federal government has finally announced to all 33 Thank airlines you. operating in nigeria that it is about time that they close down fri uh, flights mm. uh, um yeah the international uh, wings of um Lagos and Abuja Airport. Prior to that, they had shut down Kanu, um, Enugu, and Port Harcourt. Yes. So right now, domestic flights would, of course, be still be uh, functioning one hundred percent. But right now, the borders are shut completely, which is a good thing. Although it would affect a lot of people, but I think the government is just trying we to have just close done this a long time ago to contain. Uh, con considering yeah. how much of so out of twenty two cases. Only one is based on community spread. All other, the remaining 20. No, another one well, came sorry, in no. through the border. So one before. Road no, but is he, well, yeah, the guy yeah, who cycled Yeah, in, the right? American, yeah. So we have, no, sorry, that was wrong. We have one person who was community spread who we don't know how he got it. That's the 50-year-old mm. man. The other people have been contacts of the import cases. Mm -hmm. So the fact is, if maybe we had taken some of these measures sooner. <laughs> um, but again, let me just balance the conversation out. It is important. It does have impact. On the economy it does have impact on real people's lives mm -hmm. when people aren't able to travel so it's it, it's not it's difficult to find the balance that says shut right. the airports down um, but considering what we've seen in other countries I think we needed to do it we uh, need a to lot do that. sooner yeah we need to so, do that. yeah uh, so my story is actually um, quite an interesting one um, the Commissioner for Education in Lagos State mm -hmm. um, she's calling on um, first of all you know now Officially, schools are shut. They are shut down. No school for for the time being. So she's saying that um, the Lagos would begin to teach students via broadcast and social media. So what was interesting for me in this story was the part where she talked about so her name is Mrs. Folashade Adefisayo, 
and she said that they would engage in different programs that would ensure the 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 children are engaged in spirit and all of that and subjects like physics maths chemistry all the subjects she mentioned them they would teach them via television radio <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was making me to laugh. Radio, what? Television, radio, and social media. And according to her, for those students that are preparing for WIEC um, mm -hmm. and um, BC, BECE, those ones, they would advise the parents not to patronize uh, because, you know, parents Lesson. might be tempted to patronize lesson teachers that this is, I mean, at this point, it's not safe for you to patronize lesson teachers and all of that so we can curb the virus. But now the part I don't get is how can you say I should tune into radio and television? You know, it's so boring. You know, how, how do watching. You mean it's, it's I, I mean, when I was growing up, there used to be people that used to teach us mathematics. On it's, it's actually very boring. No, it is very no, it, interesting. No, it is actually on, boring. On now, guess what? First of all, are the teachers listen? Sans is a different thing to teach you one on one and to be able to communicate via television. For you to be interesting on TV, you have to be trained for that. Do we have that? I mean, those t teachers currently trained. I was watching Al Jazeera because that's my new go to channel. You know, they were breaking it down. There's a, there's a lecturer in one of the universities in the US. Mm -hmm. The woman was breaking down how she had started a long time ago engaging her students online. So now with the current this rise in the coronavirus, a lot of them are better prepared. She said even with the advanced technology and all of the, the data and everything that they have, they are still saying that they are not yet there. Not to talk about Nigeria. So me, I don't understand television. So we'll start shooting the teaching. Okay, one okay, plus one so is two. This is it's, what I it's, think. It's going to be boring, I, I, I think, think. I think you're being pessimistic. Come on. No, this I'm thing not works pessimistic. Is you just need one person who is good at it to make a video and you circulate That's what it I am saying to so you, So are you Sanzi. trying to tell me that we don't have, we can't vouch, we, can't, we don't have at least one person who Sanzi, is for a teacher, good? for a teacher to teach their television that teacher has to be trained for it do we have that time so, for that so some children no, are supposed to be writing not, in not, a few no, not, so i don't think to? that it will be boring and yeah, the reality it, of it is we do need to do something the fact is there is already a lot of educational content out there so mm -hmm. you don't so now that was where i was going so we had do -do now listen kids. now we had <laughs> the guys developing apps right mm -hmm. we had the guys developing apps on our show i think last week mm, and of one of them i think is with with spread or something i can't remember the name of that app now mm -hmm. that is already an educational material so as a commissioner for education you should find those people not to start to tell me that but it's television and all of that now what what happens with children that are not able to access data the thing is too vague there so i mean it's not which barrier for instance, kids so, in the rural areas, so they may again, not understand all this or you remember, English. No, hang on. But remember, we also talk about the fact that we assume everybody's on social data, social media. Um, television is still premium content. Of in course, this part of radio the is still premium content. So, I'm no, saying, radio is even a bit more widespread. You know what? Let me not. Let me be pessimistic. I mean, optimistic, optimistic, right? Let yes, me not be pessimistic. Please. All right. So hopefully it will work. But I just feel like instead of going to go and get programs and all of that get exist there are existing people that have this product already on ground engage their services that's all i'm saying you she know. has to be seen to be doing it and, Do you understand? and, and that is what i don't want don't be seen like you're doing something don't be politically correct at this point do the right thing that would be actually effective. That's all I'm and saying. And don't make the parents look dumb. Come on. But no, enough all schools. Right, so enough schools. I, mean, I think with this co Ebola corona, time. is bringing out the whatever inside of me. Let me calm down. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> all right. Um, um, Tunji Oshioye joins us after the break. Please stay with us.